Hello everyone. Welcome to the second learning uh, Spanish learning stream where we're learning words and learning how to pronounce them. Uh, for once we've actually started a minute early instead of like a couple minutes late or just barely on time. Uh, welcome everyone. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Gonzalez, also known as Riku. Um, I know it's different from the usual opening, but but just slightly, so yeah. Yay. <laughs> uh, hello, Demon Zeri. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to me attempting to learn how to do Spanish. And for once, I finally ate before stream started. Just slightly, though. Oh, crap. I need to turn this on. There we go. I had one whole banana. Alright. Let's see. Let's go to Google Translate. Alright, we got that open. So we want English to Spanish. Oh, Alright. I'm ready. I'm ready to do some learning today. No, I'm not, but we gotta do it. We gotta learn. Just finished a class and back into another class. Oh, uh, hello, Lena. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the Spanish learning stream where I'm learning Spanish. Or attempting to. Uh, if you know Spanish, feel free to, to correct me on anything I get wrong. Because, oh boy, do I not know what I got right or wrong. Alright. Okay. So the word we got is top, but again, I think I need to adjust it. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is what I actually wanted. Okay. Okay, perfect. So what I wanted was tope. Also, no, I'm not using the tilde. I think I have that in the description, so I, uh, maybe I don't. I refuse to use the tilde. Let's see, what's the other word I have? Uh, bottom. Fondo. Fondo. Okay. Fondo. Background. Bottom. Fun. Death. Okay. Foot. Yeah, okay. I've been here. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, this one I this one I've heard a lot of my mother say. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because it has because top and bottom can have multiple meanings. And when I go through Google Translate, you know, it gives me like the top four options. But um the words I'm thinking of, um at least what I'm putting down, are the ones that I am thinking of. So fondo uh, in the back or in the background or bottom. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Fondo. Oh. Hello, Bex. Fondo. Alright. Tope and fondo. Actually, no, let's listen to how that's pronounced. Fondo. Fondo. Yep, yep. Arriba. Yep, arriba. <laughs> Heck, do lingo. Rick is my new Spanish teacher. Everyone else uh, in chat should be your Spanish teacher, Bex. I'm just a fellow student. Yeah. Hey, you're on top of. If you are on top of something, X is arriba. Okay, we'll put that in examples then. Alright. Okay. Let's see. Notes. Uh. If you are um, on top of X, the word you use is uh, arriba. <laughs> Friends of Venom to Lingo Riku is now is now new best friend. <laughs> I might as well grab arriba. Interesting. Uh, 
Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So Reba gives me a book. Yeah, yeah, okay, so. Uh, so Google Translate gives me up and above. Above is more appropriate tra uh, translation for Reba. Ariba or a top on or on top. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Ariba. Uh, might as well put that down then. Um above. Oh no no. On top. That's not what I need. I need this. Arriba. All right. Middle. Uh, this one, I'm pretty sure it's going to give me multiple definitions as well, but that's fine. Yeah, medio. Intermedio. Okay. Medio. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Intermediate, middle. So I have medio and intermedio. So if the medio is intermediate, uh, intermediate, middle, medium, halfway, medi uh, mediates. And the medio is half, average, middle, mean, mid. Oh, and this one has the masculine and feminine as well. Media. Yeah, okay. So I'll make sure to write that down. Alright. Medio. Medio. Masculine. Uh, yep. Uh, feminine. Alright. Shelf. Uh, estante? So for shelf we have uh, el estante, which is shelf, uh, rack, bookcase, rack, prop, piece of furniture of shelves. Yeah, yeah. this this works what I want. Uh, la repisa. Hello, Ray. Hello, welcome. Uh, this is the stream where I type things into Google, and uh, chat's able to help, um, especially if you know Spanish. Because then you can let me know like what you use uh, more frequently in day-to-day -day language or your day-to-day -day use. Estante. 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 Actually, before we continue, let's go back over what we've done. Alright, right. Derecha or derecho. Left, izquierda or izquierdo. Forward, adelante. Uh, send, enviar. Uh, need to conjugate for the appropriate situation. Good night, buenas noches. Steering wheel, volante. Uh, the wheel is reda. Reda? Yeah, I think that's how... Uh... Reda. Da, da, da. Wheel. Reda. 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 Le. I wish I could... I, ah, I can't roll my R's. I don't know if I really need to roll my R for this one, but I still want to. Reda. Reda. Okay. Dirección, el gobierno, ollas for pots, ollas, hole is oil, or uh, agujero, uh, pronunciation is uh, pronunciación, pronunciación, uh, cries and tears, I'm here for the R's, <laughs> I can't do the R's, I'm sorry. Example, ejemplo, listens, escucha, cute is lindo, room is cuarto, or habitación, bedroom is habitación, 
Uh, note, Habitacion is like you are in a hotel and bought a bedroom. Quarto would be like the bedroom of your house, the gamer zone. I forget who typed that in. But, uh, <laughs> I really like that one. Let's see. Living room is Sala. Uh, seminar is Seminario. Seminario. Hall and hallway is Basilo. Building, Edificio. Sign is Firmar. Uh, then sign, um, as in like a road sign, is Senal or Letreo. Sign that would see on the road. Examples, Senal de Parar. Uh, side, Lado. Correct error would be Lado Derecho or Lado Esquerdo. Sidewalk, Azera, Azera. Shop, Tienda. Shopping, comprar, conjugate for the appropriate situation. Um, buy, comprar, conjugate. Yeah. So these two go together. I remember that. Tongue, lengua, language, idioma. Uh, radio is radio. Uh, pan is uh, sartén. Uh, skill equals casserola. Onion. Oh, yeah, this is the one that always messes up just because I look at it. But I've heard it my whole life. It's a Savoya. Savoya. Purse is Bolsa. Bolso. Uh, no. Bolso is more fitting along the lines of purse. Bolsa is like trash bag, regular bags. But apparently Bolsa can also be used for purse. It's just, this I guess is just more appropriate. Mail. Correo. Paper. Papel. Table equals Mesa. Support. Soporte. Uh, get up. Levantate. Oh yeah, that's right. Levantate. This one, I remember someone was telling me about the pronunciation and that, uh, what was it? Uh, this should be flowing a bit more uh, fluently. Like, this should be a lot more quicker when I say these words. So that's something I do need to work on, I remember. Levantate. Levantate. Help. Ayuda. Shelving. Uh, estanteria. Frame, Marco, Blanket, Manta, uh, Bedsheet, Sabana, uh, Detergent, de, uh, de... Uh, Detergente? We'll do that one more time and I'll actually put out the pronunciation. Detergents. Detergente. Detergente. Okay. De te hen te. I should have changed my name to Basu. Oh, come on, Bex. Oh, <laughs> Soap equals hot bowl. Picture equals a uh, mahen. Painting equals pintura, pintura, no, action, pintar, can get, uh, conjugates, the pain can also be in pen, uh, pintura, uh, search, buscar, asking, uh, bus, ah, uh, buscada, oh, bus, bleh. kind of sounds like the start of a song, not gonna lie, <laughs> de ter gente, bus, Busquila? Busqueda. 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 Huh. Interesting. Bus K. Busquida. Busquida. Garbage, basura, without seeing, thing, cosa. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> yep, I remember. When I got to this, Sleepy was teaching me this word, and she used it to use a pickup line. <laughs> um. 
let's see, useless, inservible, inservible, inutile, inutile, uh, inutile is more common, okay, inutile, fork, tenidor, spoon, cuchara, uh, cuchara. spatula, espatula, espatula, doll, Mu muneca, um, Muneca's wrist, or I forget, there's, uh, da -da. yeah, I need to double check that later, uh, top is tope, if you're on top of X, the word you'd use is arriba, put on top, arriba, bottom is fondo, middle, uh, arriba, arriba, yep, <laughs> God, what is that? Oh, I know it's from an old Looney Tunes cartoon, I think. Like Speedy Gonzales or something. Yeah, Speedy Gonzales. Let's see. And Medio, Media. And then El Estante. Estante. Hand, I, th I think, is Mono. Full we'll check just to be sure. Mano. La mano. Mano. And then I should probably just do this for all of them, even if I do know them. El brazo, el brazo. Brazo, 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 brazo. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just do it because uh, the more I write it and the more I think about it, it'll help. Um, leg. Mm, I don't know that. Pierna. Ah, la pierna. 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 Yeah, pierna. La pierna. And then feet is pie. If I remember right, Piez. Oh no, that's English. Piez. All right, so for okay, okay, I'll just write that down. Piez is for feet. Uh, pie is for foot. And then pie. Okay. Uh, neck. And this one I've heard. A lot too. Cuello. 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 Is that? Yeah, I think that's how you spell it. Yeah. Cuello. Cuello. Okay. Okay. Yo, Quayo. Let's see. Uh, shoulder. Ow, my shoulder. Espalda. What the? Umbro. Interesting. I want to check something real quick. Oh, Espalda is back. Okay. Alright, we'll go back to shoulder then. Let's 
sí. Uh, hombro, el hombro. Ok. El hombro. Hueso? Hueso? Is hueso the bone? Hueso, yeah! Hueso. 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 Okay. Huso. 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 And then it is. Hueso. Hueso. Spine. Columna vertebral. Oh boy, okay. Columna vertebral. Columna vertebral. Columna vertebral. Vertebral. Oh boy, okay. Moving this over here now. Vertebral. Got ear. Oreja. 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 Oído. Oído. That's that's probably hearing, yeah. Oreja. 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 Or re ha. Oreja. Okay. God, this. Okay, I need to. I don't like having it right there, but. Oreja. Or. Oreja. Dedal? Dedal. Dedal. Okay. Dedo. Okay. Then do finger nail. Uña. 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 Okay. Oreja and oido are the same. Oreja is more common. Though. Okay, I'll put that down then. Thank you. Thank you, Lena. Or, yeah, Lena. Thank you, Lena. Let's see. Thumb. Bulgar? Bulgar. Bulgar? Mi Bulgar? Uh, yo siento de lore mi Bulgar. Would that be correct? Uh, si yeah, siento dolor in mi, in mi pulgar. 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 Okay, pulgar. Uh, message, I think it's mensaje. Yeah, mensaje. Mensaje. 
Me duele mi pulgar. Me duele mi pulgar. Okay. Okay. Me duele mi pulgar. Okay. No, no, a more. I feel pain in my. There we go. I feel pain in my thumb. Uh, or it'd be. Yeah, it'd be kind of like this. Or I have pain. That would be pretty well. Yeah, me doing me. Yeah. Okay. Worry about that in just a bit. Men's side. Okay. Text. Da da da. Oh, text though. Yeah, that pretty much works. Text though. Though I just think I'd say uh, mensaje instead. Chat. That one's probably gonna be. Okay. La charla. 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 Okay. Uh, just one second. Charla, okay. And let's put that other one, uh, Discuss. Okay, so it's talk I should put instead. Black car. And then there's also hablando. Yeah, hablar. For anyone in the chat who knows, um, when do I use hablar and when do I use, would would use a practica, uh, practicar, practicar. Is uh, practicando a bit more formal way of conversing or having discussion, and hablando or an hablando or hablar is just like more of a common way of saying it. Yeah, todo está bien. Practicar is more formal. Thank you, thank you. Uh, hello, Chisico. Uh, things are going pretty good. Uh, todo está bien. Practicar is more formal. Okay, thank you. That's a practicar.
boo woo. <laughs> yo hablo, yo hablo español. Okay. <laughs> I can speak Spanish as well. It's uh, just from uh, mine is very rough. Um, uh, I don't know actually. I guess when we get to uh, to me trying to think of ways to respond to people, I think that'll give you a good idea of uh, my Spanish level. Or just how I talk in general. Wait, why do I have cute twice? Yeah, I already have cute. We can get rid of cute then. Alright, let's see. English. I don't need friends. Let's see. Boyfriend. What? No, no, it's it's no, don't translate to French. Everyone's speaking Spanish, but man. <laughs> don't worry, Demon Zuri, we're learning together. Trust me, at this point, like, we're all like anyone who doesn't speak Spanish, we're all learning at the same pace right now. No view. Okay. Ja, 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 ja. Viva Chile. Oh no, this isn't. I need to move this. No, it's appearing in the background. I need to disappear front. Yeah, we got this meme. When your friend speaks, post a Spanish meme, but you don't speak Spanish and you can't ja 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 with them. But one day I will be able to ja 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 with them, don't worry. I relate to that on an emotional level. <laughs> no view. Alright, girlfriend. Novia. Novia. Let's see, husband. Marido. Esposo. Put in esposo. And I'm guessing it's supposed to. I'm gonna guess that's supposed to. It's supposed to can be handcuffs. All right, Lena, answer me this question as well. Can a supposed to also be wife? Ah, uh, Spanish. What an interesting language. It depends on the context. Uh, for some married men, I think the context is the same. Hanko's wife. Oh boy. Hanko. <laughs> All right, I'll put down. I'll put that down. Supposed to can also meet handcuffs. Okay, I'll write that down then. Notes. Also means wife. Esposas means handcuffs. <laughs> uh, there's a joke in there. I'm not gonna make it though. I will one day, but I'm not gonna make it now. We'll get there together, Chad. Alright. <laughs> Me.
me wife? <laughs> you're, are you saying you're the wife, Bex? Let's see. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So to the right, derecho, derecho, left, izquierda, izquierdo, forward, adelante. Alright, I'm going to Spanish speaking countries to marry handcuffs. <laughs> I'm gonna marry a handcuff. Don't worry, mom, I'll get you a grandkid, don't worry, I'm gonna go marry a handcuff. Uh, send, NVR. Need to conjugate. Uh, good night. Buenas noches. Steering wheel. Volante. Uh, wheel. Reda. Reda. Direction. Direction. Government slash administration. O gobierno. My fiance is a donkey. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. Pots. Uh, ollas. A uh, hole. Oil, or no, no, yeah, no, hole, oil, um, and then agujero, uh, pronunciation, pronunciación, example, ejemplo, listens, escuchar, escucha, cute is lindo, room is cuarto, also habitación, bedroom is habitación, notes. Habitación is like you are in a hotel and bought a bedroom. Cuarto would be like the bedroom of your house, the gamer zone. Let's see, words that are different to pronounce. Let's see, do I have any of those? Da -da 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 -da. Uh, gobierno. It's a little rough, yeah. Gobierno. 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 Le. Gobierno, gobierno. Let's see. Living room is sala. Seminar is seminario. Hall slash hallway. Basilo. Building. Edificio. Sign. Fimar. Some, uh, signing something like a contract. Senal or let, letrero. Letrero. Sign that you would see on the road. Stop sign. Senal de parar. Side, lado. Correct camera would be lado derecho, lado izquierdo. Sidewalk, aziera. Shop, tienda. Uh, shopping, conjugate, comprar. Buy, comprar. Tongue equals lengua. Uh, language, idioma. Radio, radio. Pan is sartén. Uh, skillet, uh, casserola. Onion, cebolla. Purse, bolso, bolso, and then bolsa. Uh, mail, correo, paper, papel, a uh, table, mesa, support, soporte, get up, levántate, help, ayuda, uh, shelving, estanteria, frame, marco. Buenos días, buenos días, Maxwell. Hello, hello. Uh, so we just managed to finish up the list, and I'm going through again with the pronunciations, trying to get those in my head. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try to type some sentences out, and then I want to see how you guys would fix it, or how you guys would do it, how you would say it. And then, um, so I think I should type in, yeah, we'll get there when we get there, but yeah, it's going to be in a bit. Uh, imagine if the list was on paper. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't like to. Well, writing it down would help us. Would help to, me to remember. Uh, let's see. Marco Blank is Manta. Uh, Betty is Sabana. Detergent Detergente. Soap Havon. A uh, picture Amahan. Amahan. Uh, painting Pintura. Uh, action Pintar Conjugate. The painting can also be a pintura, pintura, le. Can you drink some water? Let's see. Search, buscar, and then action, 
Buscara, 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 Le. Garbage, Basura, Without, Seeing, Thing, Cosa, Useless. Uh, inutal, but also inservible, in, inservible, inservible, fork, tenedor, spoon, cuchara, spatula, espatula, doll, muñeca, uh, no, muñeca is wrist, uh, oh yeah, no, this was, yeah, I remember chat last time I was talking about this, I don't think I made the edit, but I did notice it, so yeah, I need to double check that, I will check it right now. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm not doing a Maxwell. I'm not doing it. I'll die on this hill. I'm willing to die on this hill. <laughs> Junie, try Junie keeps trying to make me uh, do it. He keeps bringing it up whenever I remind him of the Spanish stream and yeah, no. Uh, I guess, uh, I guess Spanish from, like, uh, Mexico and, like, Central America, I guess. I'm pretty sure they have their variations, but I feel like it's common enough between them. Let's see. My French friend say is like si está bien because of that one cat meme where it wears a sombrero, but I'm curious if like if it is okay or are you okay? I think for that it's up uh, estás bien. And I think that's um the are you okay one. A time to learn how to swear multiple languages and nothing else. Um but I guess if I were to learn Spanish I guess it'd be uh Yeah, just mm. Spanish from like Mexico and all those Central American uh, countries. Because I don't, because the Spanish my parents speak is from Central America. Um, but it's like, I, I haven't noticed a difference with uh, Spanish that uh, people from Mexico do. So. Yeah, yeah what Maxwell said, si sí, esta bien. That would mean, yes, it's okay. Are you okay would be, estas bien. Yep. Estas bien. <laughs> I don't, well, no, 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 okay. So here's a fun story. My dad, um, he he gets real uptight with, uh, with uh, people teaching uh, other people other languages because he always hates it that people teach uh, the swear words first. Uh, he says, no, actually teach some words that they can use. I personally believe that learning the swear words is important. I think it should be the first thing you learn so that someone can't bait you into saying them to someone. Because that's the big thing. Like, I think you should learn the swear words or, some, or just bad words in general in another language so you know not to say them. I believe it is very important. And also keeping your back of the head is like, don't say this, don't say this, or like, if another word tr sounds like this, try to make it as clear as possible. But yeah, he gets real up to you when it's like, oh, I always hate when people are, you know, teaching another person a language and they always teach the swear words. <laughs> okay, Judy, no. <laughs> Actually, mm, I, mm, yep. Okay, for the first English lesson class. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it'd be good for them not to to know not to say it and what it sounds like. It would be helpful. Yeah, because then they might pick it up from other sources and think it's an okay word to use. Very important. Oh yeah, punta y puta. Yep. 
Yep, yep. Know which one you're saying. Yep. Punta. Punta. Mi punta es que yo, yo soy aprendiendo español y necesito tu, uh, necesito yo, uh, tu ayuda. Well, Juni, welcome, welcome, hello, good morning. Oh, I saw you were streaming as I was going to bed last night. I, I couldn't catch it because I was going to bed. But it looks like you're playing some Minecraft, or should I say Smash Bros? Concept well, yeah. Smash Craft, yep. Yeah, that's the thing. I need to I need to learn how to proper grammar. But I refuse to use uh, the tilde for any of these words. All right. Oh yeah. Uh, mano, brazo, la pierna, pies, pie, uh, cuello, 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 hombro, hueso, uh, no hueso, espalda, columna vertebral, oreja, um, and oh, since I have it, I might as well get the pr uh, pronunciation of it. Oi, do. Let's see. Da, da, da. No, no, no. Okay. Oi. Oi, do. Oi, do. Dedo, uña, pulgar, mensaje, texto, charla. And this is why I actually need to write down pronunciations. Charla. Charla. Some of these words I've heard from my parents my whole life, but others I haven't. Like, they never say text, though. They just say, Voy a mandar mensaje. Which, you know, I'm gonna send a message. Practicar, novio, novia, uh, esposo, and then esposa. Uh, I like this. Esposa means wife, esposa means handcuffs. Alright. Oh, here's the part I'm not looking forward to. Senses. All right. I actually have to think of a cent. Uh, so I think this is gonna be the general rhythm of it. So it's gonna go like this. Let's just go. Cool. All right. So it's gonna go. Uh, sentence in English. My attempt to translate it, and then chat's way of uh, saying it, of no, of uh, chat's way of uh, not pronouncing, of writing that sentence. Hello, Edens. Hello, hola. Welcome. <laughs> God, I feel like some, like some middle school uh, Spanish teacher. Like bienvenido a la clase de español. One friend was doing research on RFX. One day, she woke up speaking perfect German. She was not German. Did not have German friends. Oh boy. That is a fun story. Uh, before we start this whole segment, let me tell you a fun story. Um, let me turn on the music so. 
So, my senior year of high school, uh, it was going to be my third year of Spanish. I only needed two years of Spanish to graduate. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do a third year of Spanish, you know, uh, brush up on my Spanish. Um, uh, let me fix this. All right. Uh, third year, so final year of Spanish, so my senior year. They replaced the teacher we had for the rest of my high school career. Um, and the new Spanish teacher was not that good. I was only in that class for three days. And after that, no, no, I was only there for one class. I went to the office after school and I said, all right, give me a study hall. I have no other credits I need to take in this school. And I'm not going to take any other, and there's no other classes available during this hour that I need to take. Give me a study hall. Um, so what happened was, so my other teacher, um, she was, she was pretty cool. So she was a, she was a mother. Uh, I think she was about 35. Um, and she, like, she wasn't like, she wasn't one of those, uh, teachers that like, what's, what's good to explain? Like, she knew the real world. Like, not, like, she knew Spanish. She was very good at Spanish. Um, but it was more like, she was very frank in her approach of things. Um, so I remember hearing stories of how, like, she, she taught the class above me some party tricks. So, like, apparently at one point, uh, one of the kids was trying to open a champagne bottle or something like that. And what she did was, she took a knife, took it along the edge of the bottle, and managed to, like, rip it off perfectly with the knife. Um... God, what? Uh, let me let me find a picture. Cause I don't I don't remember if it was a champagne bottle. Oh, it might have been actually. I think it was a champagne bottle that you. Oh, uh, let's use this as a picture. Champagne. All right. I did not not image slide, so I just need image. Champagne. Uh, in the wise words of Captain Zap Brannigan, Champagne. Uh, Captain Zap Brannigan has said a lot of things throughout his life. This was one of them, Champagne. Oh, that's real big. Yeah, I think it was a champagne bottle. But what she did was, uh, took the knife, cut along the edge right here. So right here, yeah. And then, so essentially where the, uh, the yellow starts, she took the knife, cut it, and managed to open the ball like that. So, like, she didn't cut the glass, um, or anything, but, like, I don't know. Oh, no, because now you okay. Yeah. Essentially, she just, she just slid the knife on the edge of the bottle and managed to open it that way. And after that, like, I think one of my friends started to, like, try to practice that and got really good at it. But, like, she was she was odd for a teacher, but she was also very entertaining. Slice the ball on half with butter knife. <laughs> uh, that's what that's what a lot of kids manage to do. Because they try to do it too, but they, they never manage to learn. But yeah. She was very interesting. Um, she even took us out to go to some of the local uh, Mexican uh, bakeries to order food in an attempt to like actually use our Spanish What did I get I got a, a Torta cubana or uh, Cuban cubano torta cubano Yeah, I think I got torta cubano. I Think that's let me check that up too. Torta Cubana. Torta Cubana. Thank you. Yep, yep. I got Torta Cubana. Uh, e and pff, I almost. No, no, no. Um, what else? I can't remember. It's like a, it's like a drink. It's kind of sweet. It, it's white. Um, it's pretty sweet. Oh, da da, sweet.
Horchata. Horchata. It was Horchata. Yeah, so here we have this teacher. What kind of flavor or taste? Oh, it's horchata. Yeah, it's horchata. I got horchata. Um, but no, she was really cool. Like, she was like, hey, uh, we're going to use the textbook. Um, here are situations you can use it. Um, she also, for a year or two, showed us, like, essentially a Spanish soap opera that was meant to teach us Spanish. It was, it was, so, it was so wild. I loved it. Because, like, you know, it wasn't one of those boring, like, uh, oh... Miguel wants to ask uh, Sonia if she wants to go to the library today at 3 o'clock. What will he do? Oh, he needs to practice his Spanish to talk to her or whatever. And just like, okay. No, this one was like, there was a conspiracy going on. We were being stalked by some random dude. It was like a first person adventure. And like, uh, we'd have to type in the responses. Well, no, we watched the video together. So like, we all had to agree on like, what we wanted to say and then you know actually typing it out properly you know with the tilde and all um it was really cool it was like 13 episodes um and i think we like had to do like half an episode every uh, class or whatever and like no it was really good i liked it uh she did spanish class well like she made it interesting uh, she even motivated us because, you know, one of the biggest ways to get someone to learn a language is, you know, food. Um, but this new teacher we got, um, she was like just out of college and she was like preppy. She was real preppy. She had lots of energy and she just always smiling, always, you know, had that high energy voice or whatever. And so the first day we were like, okay. Let's learn Spanish. She comes and is like, Hola, bienvenida a la clase de español. Uh, hi, yes, can I have uh, one peanut butter octopus, please? Uh, and, uh, and a side of uh, salsa. <laughs> Where would you get the peanut butter octopus from? You should join in, uh, join a Spanish uh, Spanish call and just vibe like on Discord. I really should, because that's one of the biggest things. Is like I just need to listen to it. That's like one of the easiest ways to learn. Um, oh god, I keep getting sidetracked. We'll get to the story, I promise. But uh, one of my friends, uh, their older brother, uh, is a mechanic, and he joined. Uh... <laughs> okay, first of all. If if that if there was a cult like that where its whole premise was learning Spanish, <laughs> I'd be. I mean, what's the point of the cult if we're just learning Spanish? What's the point? <laughs> oh, we need to do a blood sacrifice, but it has to be an en an español. <laughs> Otherwise, the elder gods won't take it. Nope, nope, nope. You can only. You can only do the blood ritual in, in Spanish. They don't like any other language. We tried French last week and they almost killed Tim. Yeah. One of my friends uh, has a brother. A salsa sacrifice. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Purge the English. <laughs> Reject every language, only Spanish. Purge the English. <laughs> God, it sounds like a boot camp at that point, where like every time you say something that's not in Spanish, you have to run a lap around the course. <laughs> yeah, my friend had a brother. He was a mechanic. He joined a shop, but uh, everyone in the shop only really spoke Spanish. In a week, he learned every word he needed to. <laughs> so yeah, that's other. That's another great way to learn. Is a uh, you need to learn, or else you won't be able to do the job. Great. Uh, it's amazing what humans can do under pressure. Yeah. So this new teacher was uh was real preppy. And the first thing she did was like, Alright guys, we're gonna learn Spanish. So she passes out this paper. And it's uh so it's in Spanish, so I don't know how to uh read it exactly. And she gives us and she starts playing a video and it was frozen, but in Espanol. And she was like, I just love Frozen so much. I And like, as soon as like she started with that, I was like, oh, you're not, 
like I, I I realized that she was not gonna be as cool as the last teacher. Nowhere near. Like she was gonna be just a normie essentially. That's all she was gonna do. So she was gonna like just play Disney songs and movies or whatever or clips. I don't I don't know. But it wasn't gonna be as entertaining. It was gonna be a really boring, not entertaining, just kind of cringy. And I was like, nope, nope, I'm out. After that first class, I got a study hall. El Coto Hispano Hablante de Riku. <laughs> Where in America you need to learn English and freedom, and the Riku Spanish learning cult, you only need your wonderful skills in Spanish. <laughs> you know, I think the Discord would. Again, uh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, we're, we're making a Discord in a week or two. So I guess we could have a channel dedicated to Spanish speaking. And I could just join in trying to keep up. Normie in Spanish is Normie? Is Normie? Is it just pronounced the same or is there an accent on one of the... One of the characters? Where it's like in America we have samurai, but in Japanese uh, they say it a bit differently. Oh, it's in English. Okay, okay, so you didn't really do much. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's just like a fuss in some of the Japanese words where we just took them directly, but then we pronounce it in our own way. Okay, okay, okay. I just put away the champagne bottle. Alright. Normie in Spanish is Normie. <laughs> but yeah, she was a Normie. Oh god, she was... Mm, I couldn't handle it. I really couldn't. I'm just thankful most of my teachers were very engaging. They weren't Normies. One of them was a boomer, but... Oh well. Uh, she had her moments of... Of uh, pretty good uh, learning material. Math teacher was cool. History teacher was very cool. Science teachers, we got a different one every year, but they were all very interesting. Uh, one of them uh, had a hedgehog as the class pet. Um, ninth or tenth grade. It was her sister's hedgehog, and her sister was in college at the time, and she couldn't keep it in her dorm. So she was like, oh, hey, can you keep it? She was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And so she was like, well, I don't want to keep it, you know, my house. So I was like, oh, it doesn't have fur. Um, most people aren't allergic to it. Uh, we'll just bring it to school. And so, yeah. Uh, the class below me had a hedgehog as a class pet for a year. And then they had a tarantula. I know this is a Spanish learning stream. We're not really learning Spanish right now, but uh, don't you think that's cool that they got a tarantula? I was scared a bit, but it was still cool, though. Uh, ta -da. Let's see. Music teacher. Uh, sounds rather creepy. It was. It was creepy. It was also really big. Our class pet was butterflies. I actually got to, uh, what was it? One of our classes in elementary school, we raised butterflies. So, like, we had caterpillars, and then, like, uh, we saw them, like, transform to a butterfly, and then we let them go when they, you know, finally became butterflies. No, 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 what we did was, uh, when they turned into cocoons, uh, we put them somewhere special so that once they hatched, they could just fly away. <laughs> Curse to learn Spanish. <laughs> you would think that'd be a smart move for carrying our class by group finding... Grew up finding killing butterflies fun until I realized I was killing them. Oh my gosh. At least you learned. That's a very important lesson to learn early on. And especially if just butterflies, and you're like, oh, oh boy. God. Maybe I should just open the I should just open the Discord tomorrow. It's like, alright, we're learning Spanish. And I'm just gonna try to keep up.
Alright, okay, okay. St enough stalling. Okay, okay, okay. What's a sense I'd actually say? Okay. Um, da da. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what I'd actually say. Okay, okay. Here's better context. What would I say to my parents? Uh, to do my classes are going good right now. All right, uh, me classes or on me me classes or ahorita. I think that's another word. Yeah, it's another word I should get. Orita. So, now. So, uh, here's a sentence right now. Um, oof. I hope I didn't hurt you by typing that. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I feel like I spelled it uh, now wrong. So, while I look that up, um, if any of you... Any Spanish speakers, yeah, any ways you would change it, any ways you would type it, uh, please do let me know. Um, it'd be very helpful and beneficial to see what you guys would type out instead. Already, okay, thank you, thank you. Oh, ahora, okay. That's, that's the name, okay. Uh, da -da. okay. Let's see. So we go. <laughs> Any span? I can't. Okay. <laughs> Demons are as much as I'd like them to look away. I need their help. <laughs> I don't want to hurt them with my bad Spanish, <laughs> but I need their help. Okay. Classes. Okay. So classes are just one us. All right. So we got a few ones. Okay. All okay. right. So let's do. Okay. Right now, let's see. Okay, so we have one response. It is these classes. Okay, I need to stop doing that. Oh my gosh, okay. Classes is done. Yendo bien. Yeah, that one is. Yeah, that one is good too. My classes are going well. Okay, I think that's another thing. Yeah, so that one is good too. Okay. And it translates to my classes are going well. Okay, okay, okay. These classes are están yendo bien. God, I'm learning how poorly I've been. <laughs> oh God, what my parents have been going through and I've only done one sentence. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I'm not saying again though, you don't have to say. Okay. Okay, so saying again though, you don't have to say it. Really okay. And then we'll make that a notes.
Who is he in love? Oh, what is it? Okay, I forgot my Spanish. Yendo and Yendo is the same, right? I swear to God, it was Yendo. Are you actually saying that, dude? Huh. Classes are standing in the end. Ah, okay. So, Juni, this stream is beneficial for both you and me and everyone, all the other English speakers. Okay. I should put. Oh my gosh, I should put. The, is this an educational stream? I should put that. We're all gonna learn. Alright, uh, what's another sentence? Um. To split. Okay. Third sentence, what is something I'd say to my parents? Oh, Puerto Rican. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. So my family has a word for cheapskates. It is it is a word that they created because of one of their family members. Um, I'm kind of tempted to say it because if this person gets exposed, it's, it's I mean... It'd be very interesting if he does get exposed. Because I think it's just his first name that's being used in the word. But yeah, the story is... Um, so back in the day, my mom and my dad, when they were in the same village, um, they, they had a relative um, that whenever he would come along for anything, uh, he would always uh, forget his wallet accidentally. Um, and we'd always use that, or then they started to use the word to describe a cheapskate. I guess I'll share it now, because it really depends on like if someone goes through this uh, this whole YouTube video and clips or whatever. But the word is chipopo. Chipopo. Uh, and that's just a word my family uses to mean cheapskate. It's really fun to say cheapopo. So whenever someone forgets their wallet or like is at the, at the restaurant or store or whatever and like they're checking for the wallet and they don't find it and they get a little panicky he's like ah, uh, ay cheapopo. Man, if that word is like used to get me like like if someone is able to find like my whole private information just from like it's like oh, well it's it means this person. Yeah, no, it's a very local word. Yep. It's just my family that uses it because of a relative that they had. It's really nice to say I like it. Jipopo. Jipopo. So yeah, uh, if you want to use your friends, tell them that you you saw some dude in a pipe puss hoodie. Uh, it wouldn't really. Yeah, holy... Yeah, no. Yeah, typing that in, you're not going to get anything. Because, again, it's someone's name. It's not actually a word. It's just someone's name. 
and then it's not even someone's name. I don't even know what part of it is the name. Yeah, no, I'm looking it up right now, and I'm getting some very interesting results. I'm getting you something from Japan. Let's see, graphical places. Yeah, no, it's just someone's name. And again, it's just my family. Yeah, no, you get some very interesting results if you type it in as a... Let me pull this up. Japanese and Spanish exists? Well, yeah. But again, it's someone's name. And, I, and again, I don't know what part of it's the name or not, because I never met them. Um, and the one time I remember saying it, they told me not to say it, because the person might hear it, and I don't remember his name. So unless this dude's like a big influencer, um, and then you look down and try to find the family tree, because there's a lot of us, apparently. I don't even think you would know me. Hippopotamo? Oh, let's look that up. Oh. Hippopotamo? I'm just getting hippopotamus. Oh, let's try to detect the language. Nope, it still goes to English. Okay. Yeah, cheap popo. Alright, uh, third sentence. What would I say to my parents? Oh, da -da, da -da, let's see. Okay, I need to look up two words quickly, actually, for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blech, that's looking at that one's a tough one. Okay, task. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Ah, uh, swear to God, if any of you start a sneeze compilation, you won't. I know for a fact that wasn't cute. Daya. 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 And then let's go to English. Deberes. Uh, Maxwell, what word are you talking about? Or are you talking about the uh, the word that Lino typed in? Yeah. Actually, yeah, I'll probably. Uh, let's listen to it one more time. So let me do this quickly. Let me turn off the music. You're going to hear the fan that in my computers because I always have them high. Because I'm always scared of my computer getting overheated. I shouldn't be because the fan's decent, but. Okay. Um, OBS. Okay. You mm, turn down the volume potentially. We'll see. Tarea. 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 Le. Tarea. Tarea. Mmm. Mmm. This. I don't like it. I don't like it. Tarea. 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 Can you guys hear it pretty well? Tarea. Tarea.
Yes, okay. I'm gonna turn the music back on. Da-da-ya. Da-da-ya. Try ordering my Subway <laughs> Okay, we'll try. Okay. So I'll look up words as I need to. Um, okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. You know, I never know how to order at Subway. No, 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 it'd be... You'd... No, no, no. Well, it depends on what you're getting. Uh, okay, I would like... Okay, I would like a foot long... Uh, egg, ham, and... What is it? What is it that I usually get? It's the egg, ham... Uh... Why can't I not remember right now? I mean, cheese. Ah, okay, whatever. Uh. I don't even know how to say this in English. <laughs> All right, I would like to order foot long egg cheese, uh, ham, egg, and cheese. Oh, hello, Yuzuru. Welcome to the stream where I expose myself. Uh, yes, I like foot long ham, egg, and cheese on herbs and cheese. On, yeah, that's what it's called. You know what? We'll just say wheat. Okay, we're gonna try to translate this. Okay. Ah, da da. Hola. Ah, da Okay, now I need to look up quiero. Ah, da da. I want. Yeah. One recommend ordering Subway in at least Latin America. Worst mistake of life. Oh, what happened, Maxwell? Gustaria. What the? Would like. Okay. Okay. So, to the wood like sword. Okay, we copied that. Da. Da, da, da. I don't know. Okay. We'll do wood like. And then. Ah, it won't let me. There we go. All it tastes like cold food. Oof, that's rough. I know a lot of the foreign. Oh, I know with uh, fast food, because I because technically Subway is fast food. Um, like they'd always say that. Wouldn't recommend worst mistake of my life. Um, I know that. Most of the foreign exchange students I had my uh, that were at the high school that I went to, they would always say that like the fast food in their countries was a lot better than ours. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Lena just says, wouldn't recommend ordering Subway in general. <laughs> Worst mistake of my life. <laughs> uh. Alright. Let's see. Gustaria. Un metro. Con huevo. Jamón. Oh, I keep forgetting. Uh. Yeah, jamón. H and J's, yep, yep. Jamón. Y queso. Yeah, uh, I know a lot of people don't like Subway. I don't blame them. And then... Let's also put in that other one you gave. Uh, da -da. Okay. So I guess we can't skip the skip on that one, but that's okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, Dad. I don't have a girlfriend. Yeah, I'm pretty sure papa isn't the right word, but that's why it's like papa, mama. That's what I call my parents. No, I don't know, Dad. I don't have a girl. Uh, yeah, that works well. Okay. Because I really wanted to actually type in this. No thing will know via papa. Yeah, papa without the tilde's potato. No, potato, I don't have girlfriends. <laughs> Papa. Because that's saying, I don't have one girlfriend, Dad. I think if I do that. I don't know why, but I'm always, like, I always want to put in those things, like... Un, uh... Padre. Yeah, it would be Padre. I don't, I don't call him Padre, though. I just call him Papa. And then my mom, Mama. Uh, figura de autoridad paterna. Command paste. Or command copy. Paternal authority figure. Yeah. Paternal figure. Yep. Eh. When it comes to my parents, I just call Papa and Mama. That one I'm not gonna change. I think if I have kids, I'm just gonna tell them to call me that instead of Daddy. Because that's the thing they're gonna probably say is Daddy or Dad. Just tell them to call me Papa. Yeah, Daddy is ruined by the internet. I think the post that someone made on Twitter, I forget who it was, but they're like, uh, when I have kids, I'm not gonna have my daddy call me shit or nothing. I'm gonna tell him to call me bruh. Boppy. Yeah. I boppy. I boppy. But see, when you say I papa, it's like, eh. Papi too. Papi too. Papito? Papito? Oh, daddy. Yeah, I just said papa. Swear to God. 
I fought you. Did that do anything for you, Maxwell? Anything? Nothing? Good. Oh, no thing will be up uh, I'm dying. <laughs> are you? <laughs> but are you winning, son? Okay. Uh, da -da. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see. The cat is doing fine. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? 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 You know, as you go further down that rabbit hole. El gato está bien. You don't have to translate all of that, I just did that. I guess for some kind of relief. I'm looking at the cat right now. She's just she's on top of her cat tower, being a leech. How are you doing, cat? I'll get rid of that. <laughs> Max you didn't have to translate that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for translating. Uh, El gato está bien. Okay. So, está durmiendo a 16 horas al día porque es una fleja y no tiene un trabajo que ayuda a pagar la renta del todo. Translating as you wrote it. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Now I feel bad. Alright, uh, you know what? I'll bring it back. Okay. We'll just have that as another sentence. Alright. El gato está bien. And then... So I won't copy and paste it. I actually have to write it down. So está durmiendo. Yes, he says. Horas al día es un perizosa, perizosa. <laughs> we'll write that down as well. Or peri, as perizosas, perizo, perizosa. Y no tiene a uh, trabajo, trabajo, trabajo que ayuda a pagar la renta del todo. Un, ok. Es una floja y no tiene trabajo que ayuda a pagar la renta del todo. You hear that cat? You don't pay rent. Yeah, that's right. Keep staring. See what happens. You're gonna do nothing. That's what. <laughs> You're starting to sound like Junie. Very nice. How so? In in the way I threaten the cat, or by how I pronounce my Spanish? The cat's fine. I just give her crap because she's a cat. Both. <laughs> uh, oh, for everyone, for everyone in chat right now, um, I would highly recommend you to check out the uh, the Fallout stream yesterday. Um, if you if you're pressed for time and just want to see the good bits, 
skip like an hour into the stream, that's where it gets wild. Or that's where I start to lose sanity. I start to go a little crazy. Um, but yes, if you want something entertaining to watch and have some time, uh, do check out the fall stream. Skip an hour in, you'll get to the good bits. Uh, it's me playing through uh, the horror as the horror segment through Fallout Four. Um, it's not too scary, you know, because you, I had the arsenal of doom, as Junie put it, but it was still really good at like setting up the mood. It was really, de it was like depressing. So it's a really good mod. But if you just want to see me go insane, skip an hour into the mod or into the video. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I just need to check one thing. All right, okay. All right, uh, seven, seven. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do it, okay, okay. Um. Uh. Uh, let me try this for, okay, so I won't look at chat for a bit. I'm going to try this. Uh, I'm not going to try to uh, spell it out, but I'm going to try to say it. Um, fuck. Ah, uh, da, 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 da. Nope, nope. Because I don't know how to say all you need. Uh, let's go Google Translate. What is all? Todo? Todos. Todo que miramos en la TV, televisión, es videos en YouTube. Todo que miramos en la en el televisión es videos de YouTube. So then, ignore my misspellings quickly. Todo que miramos en YouTube es videos. Oh, no, no. Todo que miramos en el del y visión es videos de YouTube. Alright, how close am I? But uh, besides the spelling itself, how close am I? Todo que me amo en televisión es videos de YouTube is what you initially said. Okay. Okay, so for what I typed out, what Lena put in is correct, but what I originally said would be what you said, Maxville. Okay. Todo que me amo en televisión es videos de YouTube. Todo lo que, lo que, okay, okay, okay. Todo que, okay, okay, okay. Todo, todo lo que miramos en la TV son. Son, okay, yep, 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 son, son, videos in YouTube. Todo lo que miramos en la televisión, en la TV, son videos en YouTube. Okay. TV, uh, TV, TV, okay, TV. TV. Todo que lo miramos en la TV son videos en YouTube. Todo que miramos en la TV son videos en YouTube. Uh, quick question. Okay, so right here. N. Would it still be correct to put D instead? 
So, todo lo que veamos en la TV son videos. Uh, oh, no, no, because then I have to get rid of. Yeah, I know. Son videos de YouTube. So, uh, what is the difference between having the end there instead of de? Um, because then I think I'm saying the videos from YouTube and YouTube, the YouTube are the same. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I'll write that down. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so... In the would be from. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'll definitely keep that in mind then. Okay. In YouTube, and then there would be from some videos. In YouTube, okay. Let's see. What's another good one to do? Oh, let's just do this real quick. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. I can't really think of any other sentences right now. Pass me the food. Oh, okay. Uh, pass me the water. Okay. Uh, and then I'll look up pass real quick. Let's see. Passing turn. Hmm. Bas Basar. Because I know I say give me. Dame la la cuchara. Dame la cuchara. I guess we never said really pass it in the household. I guess we just said pass it. Oh, Brody. Oh, you're good. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Pass. Let's see. Dame la X. Okay, dame la. Okay. Dame la agua. Or is it... Oh, uh, is it D or is it Q or T? Agua. Yeah, it's G, not Q. Alright. Thank you, Maxwell. Dame la agua. Oh! Da, 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 da. Okay, um... <laughs> Let's see. <sighs> oh, sorry, sorry. If you hear a strange noise, call me. Okay. Uh, okay. Se oyes un rado? Uh, okay, I need to check up noise. So I'm not going to look at chat for just a second. Uh, Se oyes un rado? Uh, extraña, llame, uh, llamarme. 
That'd be fixed very very soon. It would be, but I guess it would still work. So I need to get down these words quick then. Strains. Extraña. Uh, feminine. Ex extraño. And then noise. I need to stop doing this. I need to actually put the equal sign. I'm gonna get confused later on, even though I shouldn't be confused later on about this, but I will. Ruido. 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 Uh, se oye un ruido extraño, llame, llámeme, llámeme, okay, okay, llámeme. So, se oye un ruido llámeme, ruido extraño. Uh, llámame, llámame. Se oye un ruido extraño, llámame. Ooh, llámame. Mm, that's a weird word. Llámame. It's fun to say. Llámame. Se oye un ruido extraño, llámame. Se oye un co uh, se oye um, algo de trajo, llámame. I guess uh, we can also do you here back from John. Call me. So it'd be se oyes, uh, se oyes algo de uh, no 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 no. Se oyes algo de John. Yamime. If it's always a thrust, uh, oh, no, pa, pa, pa. yeah, that's good. So always I go to John, yeah, me, me. Uh, Brody, if your neck is hurting, um, uh, get some ice and put it around. Uh, make sure that. If you have a nice bag to wrap it around in paper towel or just a towel in general uh, so it doesn't stick to your neck. So yeah, get some ice and uh, get that healed up real quick. So oh, it's algo de John, llámame. Okay. Llámame. Okay. Yeah, Brody, uh, get some ice, put a uh, an ice pack Put a towel around it and put it on your neck. So, oh, yes, I'll go there, John. Yeah, my man. Okay, this one. Okay, what are you trying to do? I don't know. Uh, so. Uh, I'll go there. Uh, I'll go there would be like something from. If you hear something from John. Okay. That still works then. That still works. Um, but if because that technically would work in the context of hearing back from. Um, I guess how would you translate more appropriately the like you hear back from? So I guess you got a response from John. How would you put that then?
Se escuchas algo de regreso de... Oh, ok, ok, ok. De regreso de... Ok. Si escuchas algo de regreso de John, llámame. Thank ok, ok. No double S. Oh, my bad. I keep doing that. Okay, if you hear something from John, call me. Okay, yeah. Yeah, both these work then. Okay. For the what for what I want to do with the sentence. Okay. Nope, we're not doing that. Let's see. Uh, estoy meando para alguien llevarme a la, a, uh, para, a la hotel. Estoy meando para alguien llevarme a la hotel. Alright, that's my rough translation of it. Okay, we're fine. Uh, soy meando para alguien llevarme. Alguien llevarme. Uh, soy meando para alguien llevarme. A la hotel. Do we have hotel up here? No, I don't think we do. Estoy buscando. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Estoy buscando a alguien que me lleve al hotel. Estoy buscando a alguien que me lleve al hotel. Estoy buscando a alguien que me lleve al hotel. A el hotel. Ok, ok. While meando is correct translation in context, you just kind of that well can be translated to looking. It has to be. It's too like searching. Ok. Ok. So. Uh, okay. Search. Scar. Need to come to gates. Okay. Yeah, well, Miando is correct. Yeah, I'm looking, searching. Yeah, okay, 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 okay.
All right, I think we're I think we're done here for today. I think that's all the Spanish we're gonna learn. Uh, thank you for everyone who helped out. Um, it's really it's really helpful to have Spanish speakers in here, or at least people just who are more familiar with the Spanish language. Because like with the last thing that Maxwell uh, Maxwell put in, um, I may have the correct translation in, but the context is more appropriate. So it's, it's very nice help having you guys help out. So thank you for joining me today. <laughs> oh, what is that thing? Uh, ciao. I'll let you finish that one. It's very nice too. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if I'll end it here, but I know the Spanish segment's going to end here at least. Actually, no. I'm uh, I'm conflicted. I might actually end the stream here. Um, but yeah, no, it's always nice. Um, I guess before I go, um, uh, da -da. I guess there's one question I have. Is there any content creators that you guys like that are primarily speaking Spanish that are on YouTube? I guess I'll open that up. Um, if not, that's all right. Um, I guess it's just to have me get into the the flow of things of actually, you know, listening to Spanish speakers, and then just hearing how you know more informal or just casual conversation. Oh, we have to check some to recommend that they don't have very strong. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, if you have a Twitter, you can send me some people uh, that you like to watch, or uh, you can also let me know in chat, I guess. Uh, or also next time in the Spanish stream. Okay, so I guess for the next Spanish stream, uh, if there's anyone you want to recommend, uh, we'll probably do that early on in the stream, and I'll do it again at the end of stream, just in case some people come in late. But if you want to send me some recommended, uh, recommendations, go for it. Yeah. So that's, that's something you wanted to send my way next time. I'd appreciate it. I might do some digging this uh, this week. I might not. I'm going to try to watch some Spanish videos or at least some Spanish TV. Some Spanish are hard to comprehend. Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, no. Uh, no pressure. Because I think one way that would help me to learn is um, is opening up the Discord. So I think the sooner I get that done, the better. English and Spanish streamers. Yeah, that could work too, actually. I know there's a... Uh, there's a couple Spanish VTubers. I'm pretty sure... What is it? I think some of the people that joined in chat today are VTubers that speak Spanish. So I should watch their streams. Don't want Spanish VTubers. Oh. Oh, alright. Iron Mouse will give Junie's accent. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've heard a bit of her Spanish. But also, she mainly doesn't do uh, Spanish streams. She'll say Spanish sometimes, but I don't think it's—I don't think she's done one where it's the whole stream. At this point, I might as well just watch Spanish soap operas. I uh, don't want Spanish YouTubers. Really, Lena. Huh. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm curious. Uh, why do you feel that way? So it seems like Subway uh, is another worst mistake of people's lives. Yeah, Lena, I'm curious. Two 
too much toxicity in that side of the community. Oddly enough, because of the language. Really? Even... Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I, I want to hear more about this, actually. Uh, there's a... There's a reason why many Spanish speakers don't want something like whole life Espanol. So then, uh, Maxwell, when you say toc toxicity, uh, is there anything that's like consistent? Uh, is it just like spamming chat or maybe uh, inappropriate comments? Uh, what are some of the things, I guess, then? Because I, I don't know much about the Spanish side of things. Um, I just know about the English side and its problems. But I haven't really looked into the Spanish side of things. Because here's the thing, like... The more I know, the more I can safeguard against it, but still do Spanish streams then. I do want to do Spanish streams. Uh, currently, it's just draw for the sake of controversy and bring and bring views by fighting with each other. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, I mean, okay. Okay. I thought it was uh, maybe spamming potentially bad things. I mean, it could still happen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I want to keep that in mind just so I can safeguard against it and still do Spanish streams. Because, of course, there's the Spanish viewers who just want to see, uh, you know, a stream that they can understand a bit more. I mean, I don't know if they'd be able to understand my Spanish more than that. That's just currently me gustan los tacos. Hey, Chisico. Uh, you like the tacos? That's good. Uh, I like burritos more. But I like tortas more than burritos. Tacos Ricos? Yeah, Rico, uh, tacos are Ricos. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was going to be something a little different, but... Sacred Contra... Yeah, well, I mean... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's good to keep in mind, then. Los empanadas... I know how to say the word. Empaninadas son mejores. Bastante justo. Uh, justo. Fair. Oh, oh, very fair. Okay. Bastante. Quite fair. Okay, okay. Bastante justo? Bastante junto? Sounded legit. I'm glad some of my pronunciation's uh, good enough. Empanadas? Empanadas. Uh, empanadas. Is that like pastries? So like pies. Uh... Yeah, I guess just pastries. Is it just like pastries? in that realm, yes, but salty.
<laughs> Boy, I'm gonna teach you what a panada every day. You can't make me, Judy. You can't make me. Uh, one of those dishes you need to taste and truly appreciate. I'm gonna type into Google quickly. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Okay, so this is one of the things I've tried, but uh, my mom made them, so I didn't get to appreciate them. Yeah, I'd be up to try empanadas. Actual empanadas. You know, and not whatever my mom made. Your next stream, we can make empanadas. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I'm up for the idea of a cooking stream, but I don't know. I just have to. Mm, yeah, I can just get the recipe, I guess. The only thing is just trying to set it up properly, and try not to have it as cursed as a hot swim is cooking. Uh, be sure they are fried empanadas with cheese, not Chilean oven empanadas with meat and raisins. That's an interesting combination. Empanadas with cheese, okay. about that. One day it'll be a cooking stream. Yeah, it always does go back to food. Again, if you want to get anyone into the language, just, just show them some of the food and they'll learn real quick. <laughs> Which monster put raisins in the body? Uh, apparently, uh, Chilean. Uh, hello. Uwu. Hello, Uwu. Welcome to the Spanish stream. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're ending soon. I don't know when, though. But yeah, no, we were just talking about empanadas. Um, and how apparently putting raisins in them is a war crime. In the eyes of the Geneva Convention. We got the Uwu voice line. Oh. Man, if only Corner is here just so I can bother her. She doesn't like it, uh, the Uwu speak. Corner, are you there? If you're not, I'm still gonna say it. Oh wait, I can actually give you an uwu line. Here, give me a second. Raspberry. Uwu. Hello. Uwu. There you go, there's the uwu. Cause I mean, just saying uwu, I mean, oh no. Yeah, no, I can do the voice, Maxwell. I'm not a furry. I'll say that right now, I'm not a furry. I'm just a man in a platypus hoodie. Blessed. <laughs> it's blessed and cursed. Yeah, no, um... I would try to say a line in Uwu speak, but I'd start gagging. Or I'd start laughing too hard, because I couldn't take myself seriously. Yeah. So we made some good progress today. I'm got ten senses. Give me at least an idea of how to say some 
um, some things dramatically correct, and then we finished up the rest of the words. So overall, we made a lot of progress. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Now that's all that's left is essentially just me consuming the media. Spanish speaking, Spanish people, uh, Spanish speaking people be like, hola. <laughs> Uh, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. También a ti. A ti también. ¿Cómo estás? Uh, estoy haciendo bien. Um, estoy practicando. Um, well, estoy, aprend uh, estoy aprendiendo español ahorita. Uh, la gente está ayudándome a aprender. Porque yo no sabe uh, español muy bien. Uh, uh, perdóname uh, porque mi español no es muy bien. Uh, estoy practicando. Quiero aprender más. Quiero aprender cómo hablar. Uh, quiero aprender cómo hablar español mejor. Para gente puede uh, escucharme mejor cuando estoy hablando español. Going good. That's good. Uh, better and better a bit each time. Going pretty good. Okay. Yeah, good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I hope to get better. Oh, that reminds me. Um, So back in the three years ago, I saw... I don't know how, but uh, I was playing some videos, and uh, so I have uh, it automatic. So what is it? The autoplay function. So the next video that was recommended to me was some video in Spanish, and it was some hyperactive animation. But it was also like someone's uh, news channel. Uh, so like they had this avatar that was representing them. So this was before VTubers or anything. Uh, or not really before, but 2017 maybe 2018. So after Keys and I, but like this was just like an hour tour they had. Um, I don't think it was Serpello. No, it wasn't Serpello. Um, it was a girl. Um, I don't remember who the girl was, but like it was like her new news channel, and the animation was very energetic. Um, but it was also very hyperactive, and I was just not used to that kind of content. So I was like, like I was like, um, wow. It, it, it's always it's always um, interesting the thing I always forget but there is a very sizable Spanish community on YouTube like you like you know for most languages but I always forget about the Spanish one and they have users who have who are in the millions of uh, subscribers like I just keep forgetting because I keep thinking like the like Mr. Beast PewDiePie uh, I don't really follow one else that's big um, next Taku, I guess. Uh, Moist Critical, I guess another one I follow. Uh, some Ordinary Gamers. Like, I always, I always think of those when I think of big YouTubers, but I always forget, like, there's, there's big Spanish YouTubers as well. I always know, like, there's, like, uh, some pretty big Japanese YouTubers. Obviously. But I always forget about the Spanish side of things. Yeah, I think that's where I'll end stream. Um, pretty short one today. Not nowhere near as long as what yesterday was, where we did three streams. It's another continent after all. Yeah, yeah. I always yeah. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna end stream here. Uh, thank you everyone for joining. It was a lot of fun. We made a lot of progress. Uh, hopefully, uh, by next week, um, I'll have watched at least some uh, Spanish media and try to, uh, I, I don't know, learn from it. And hopefully uh, my sentence structures become a bit better in pronunciation and also just formatting. Yeah, thank you for everyone who helped. Thank you for all who just hopped in for a second or two. I hope you had fun. I hope you guys learned something as well. Yeah, I know. Thank you guys for all the help. I had a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be doing this again next Wednesday. Uh, probably the same time as well. So, uh, 9.15 Central Standard Time. And I don't know what we're going to do. I don't think we're going to learn more words, but I think we're going to try to do more sentences. Um, and try to have a discussion, I guess, in Spanish. Yeah. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, have a good day. Uh, get a good rest. Get a good, night, get a good night's sleep. And I hope everything you do goes well. Bye bye. Also, coroner. Ew woo. I know you hate that coroner. I know you fucking hate it.